Greetings, dear ones. I'm crying a magnetic service. Pause that always follows the greeting is for my partner to exit. You might have noticed that there is no preparation for channeling. And in older energy, there would be. When a human being has to prepare their mind in such a way that the very structure and the psyche would have to be altered. If you had certain kinds of meters on his brain, you would see the preparation working. You'd see the various alpha and beta change. And not now. And the reason is because some time ago he gave permission for a meld that was continuous. A closer walk that would make him a more compassionate human being at the same time there would be no preparation for channel he would have one foot in it and one foot out all the time and so when it came time for a hundred percent all he did was step back but the stepping back is the most difficult thing he does all of this has to do with the human brain what is involved in it that you know and that you don't know and what is evolving for you to know the channel tonight informative dealing with things we have not discussed before in this way bringing a new concept forward and it won't be complex because it's an introduction to an evolved concept of humans as they move forward into a new energy that is going to change the very fabric of their consciousness. And I want to explain things that I have never explained before and some of them are controversial because of the way you think you have learned and what you've explained may have to be rewritten and I say before I start do not take this and run with it because I said it I want you to discern this with your own mind and measure it yourself for viability reality could it be that things are different than you thought. And if you think out of this box, it will start to validate some of the things you have seen and studied and taught. Only perhaps a little differently. The human mind is complex. And if you had to compartmentalize it, and take a look at the different kinds of thinking it would get even more complex so far the best you have been able to do is look at the human mind as a succinct operation of synapse that gives you everything it gives you survival it gives you intuition it gives all of the body functions it does everything it drives the boat and then you start piecing it together and you've discovered that the right and the left lobes do different things, that they're connected differently in men and women, that you can use them, that you can work with them, you can accomplish things if you try. And it's all centered around the brain. The concept we bring you this evening is that there is no single brain there are three and in order for you to see this and see it clearly in the brief time we're together 
I'm going to give you the best metaphoric illustration I can for what's going on. Under the pretense you don't know what you don't know, <laughs> you've done your best. What else could you have done? All you have to look at is the brain. Therefore, the brain is all there is. Come with me on this metaphor. It's the best I can do to explain this. You're taking a look at a table. It's a workstation and on the workstation there is a computer. Almost everyone listening and in this room will recognize it and many have operated and know what it does. But an ancient would not. And so in this example, in this metaphor, in this allegory, we have an ancient of a hundred years ago, not that ancient, coming forward to the workstation and being amazed at what they see. Without explanation, without help, without you being able to say anything, they discover and they see some of the magic that it can do, the computational skills that others would have and they could recognize it would take to operate it and they start pressing buttons they see things it does things and they marvel at the immensity they discover Google <laughs> the world at their fingertips all in a box there isn't anything it doesn't know all of the languages of the world are in the box. Any piece of information that they ever wanted is in the box. Anything amazing beyond belief it is. And they walk away from the experience with an idea. They can hardly wait to tell what they've seen in the future to those a hundred years ago telling them about a box that does everything all of the languages all of the encyclopedias possible any question you ever wanted to ask all of the individuals known through history all that is is there in the box and that's the story they carry away but you know better don't you you see, you know it was connected to the internet, and they didn't. If you disconnect the computer from the internet, it's simply a computer, a computational device. It computes. Oh, you may be able to write a letter on it. You may be able to do a spreadsheet on it, but you can't ask it anything, can you? Because it's not connected. And what the ancient did not understand or see or know or could even begin to conceive of was the worldwide net. It didn't see the tiny cord that was plugged into the base of the computer that gave it the ability that was magic. They knew everything about everything about everything. Now I bring you back to the brain. <laughs> All you've got to look at is what you think is the brain. And you don't know the connection to the internet. Your brain is a synaptic computer. When we say synaptic, what we are saying, let me define it. Synapse is the activation of pathways that are nerve pathways in the brain from one place to another at lightning speed, giving you the possibility 
to control your survival, your body, your thoughts in 3D. And you've looked at the brain and you've said, this is the creative side. You said, this is the side that is responsible for music, for artwork, for painting. <laughs> you never saw the wire, did you? The brain has nothing to do with those. It facilitates them. Coming from the pineal and the intuitive part that is growing in evolution, the part that is connected to that which you call the higher self or whatever you want to call it, that's the connection to the brain. And some have it and some do not. And the door that opens to it is free choice. And the ones that are creating and creating and creating are connected to the net that is the pineal. And you see it as the brain. It's all you study. So we're going to say it again. The invisibility that you cannot see, the overlay that you do not recognize within the brain is this. The brain facilitates that which is the pineal. It does not create it. Intuition does not come from the brain. It's facilitated by the brain and the brain then activates it into what you call thought. You can see it on the graphs. Thermography all of the things that tell you what's going on in the brain will tell you, well, this is creation, this is not, this is what's being thought of, this is not, never seeing the wire. If you unplug the wire to the net, all the brain does is keep you breathing. And in survival, it gives you survival thinking. You run from the Bengal tiger so you won't be eaten. You can grow your food and you can learn how, but it won't write music. And it won't make sculpture. It doesn't naturally think of God. But when it's plugged in, it does. And what's confusing to you is that that which is with the computer to the ancient facilitates the internet. Therefore, the ancient believes the box is doing everything. The brain seems the same way. It is not doing everything. There are three parts. You know of two of them. We're going to give you the third part tonight. The second brain of the human being that is superimposed upon that which is synaptical and biological is the pineal, and that is intuition. Intuition is starting to grow. It comes from that which is innate inside the body passed at a greater frequency to you and strength as you evolve. The bridge between human consciousness and the smart body that is innate, that is the strength of intuition. This is being enhanced in the human being to a point where you're going to think the brain is doing better. It isn't. The brain remains the brain. It's in 3D. It's survival instrument. It's a survival organ. But intuition is going to get stronger and stronger, facilitated. Your internet's getting faster. In 3D, you only see one, but there really are three. The evolved human being has a tendency to create light. <laughs> and I just gave you something you should really listen to. There is a perception of spirituality being white light. It's everywhere. You've seen it everywhere. There is the story of Moses and the burning bush. This was a flame that did not consume itself but if you could really see it in reality, it was a white light. It was a higher consciousness than he had ever seen before, an angelic energy coming through his pineal, projecting it to him. 
when you have an NDE, a near-death experience, you go to the light. This is more than metaphoric. You start to create something we will call as divinity and mastery. White light coming from you. The higher you evolve. The more your DNA sufficiency is increased, the whiter the light gets. This is a metaphor. But there is truth often behind all mythology, and this is one of those. Dear ones, you are becoming more angelic when you add the third part. We have told you before that there is a mystery going on that involves the human heart. The human heart, dear ones, is the third part of the brain. Science has never understood why the heart has such a tremendous magnetic field. It is higher than any other organ, including the brain, with all of its synaptic power. The heart overshadows it in so many ways. And yet examination of the heart corporally will give you the information that it simply pushes and pumps blood. And yet, there is more. We gave you the information to connect the dots when the spinal cord is severed in an accident with a human being, the heart continues pumping. The signals that supposedly come from the brain that survive, that make the body survive, are disconnected. The, the rhythms are gone. And the heart keeps pumping. Digestion continues, liver continues, pancreas continues, reproduction continues without the brain. There is a third element of consciousness centered in the human heart. You have seen it metaphorically as the symbol of love, and you're right. There's three parts to human consciousness that go beyond the brain. It's the trilogy of survival. It's the three. And if you want to know about the three horses that pulled the chariot of the Merkaba of Elijah, they were intuition, the brain, and the heart. The recognition of the consciousness of the individual working perfectly as a master. It's time to connect them. Dear ones, what separates a human being in survival and a master is compassion. Dear ones, compassion is generated from the heart and it's not a metaphor. It is part of the brain. There are things going on in this trilogy that you should understand, connect the dots, start using science to find out, and recognize there are things that are not visible to any spectrum yet that you have not discovered. And the brain is responsible for facilitating them all. And yet, the other two are doing the work. Connect yourself to a bigger picture. That's all we want to tell you now. Something for you to digest, think about, and ask, is it true? Could it be that the human brain was only a facilitator for something bigger? It starts to explain some measurements you never could explain, dear ones. It starts to explain why it is when a human being makes certain kinds of decisions, suddenly the brain acts better. Why is it that corporeal health 
can actually change, heal itself, ask for other kinds of food, suddenly. Dear ones, unless you were connected, you wouldn't see that. And it wasn't the brain that gave it to you. It's the brain that facilitated the connection. And the net connection is the creative source, white light. There have been metaphors given tonight and things for you to examine that mean other things. It is the way we begin the teaching of profound things that we will labor on and elaborate on and talk endlessly about so that you get it. It's time you knew the grander picture of the triad, the trilogy of creation inside the human being. I am cryon in love with humanity and for good reason. And so it is.